Hello avid royal followers, welcome back to the channel and in today's news. Republic campaigns for the monarchy to be abolished and the Queen to be replaced with an elected democratic head of state. Graham Smith, the organization's CEO, told Express.co.uk that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should not be funded by the UK taxpayer, whether they are based in Britain or abroad. Mr. Smith said, we should not be, not be funding Meghan and Harry at all, whether they are abroad or here. Certainly now that they have abandoned any penance for doing official engagements or giving anything back to the taxpayer, we have no reason to fund them at all. They are very wealthy. The estimated combined wealth is more than £30 million. He added, I think most people would be surprised by any suggestion that people sitting on £30 million in the bank might struggle in any way financially. So I think that they want to live the lifestyle that people worth £100 million do when they have the problem. But I think they will be absolutely fine and we don't owe them a living. We don't owe them a penny. They ought to go and find their own source of income or live off what they have. Mr. Smith went on to reject Meghan Markle's claim that her wedding generated £1 billion for the United Kingdom's economy. The Republic's CEO told Express.co.uk that there is no evidence that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding provided an economic boost for Britain. Mr. Smith claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's wedding was a net loss for UK taxpayers. Mr. Smith said, Meghan Markle is falling for the same spin that the royal household put out. There is no evidence at all that the monarchy ever bring money from, in, from tourism. The idea that her wedding brought in £1 billion is pure fiction. There were, just isn't any evidence to support that whatsoever. It was a net loss for British taxpayers and to try and justify spending public money on her wedding by making these rather weird claims is just another sign of their entitlement. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.